Hey guys, it's Paddy, and today I'm going to show you how, if you've got a two camera shoot, you can take your locked off camera and make it just a little bit more interesting using Kinemaster. Let's jump in and see how it's done. Yeah, really what we have is we have this locked off shot here, which is just not very interesting once you get to about here. And what are we going to do about that? Well, let me show you a cool little trick. So if we come along here, just beyond, I'm going to zoom in. So we want to be just beyond uh, this shot here. So we're hidden from view. And if we select this shot and duplicate as layer. Okay. Now I'll trim to the left of the playhead, come along here and then just beyond this one we're going to trim to the right of the playhead. Now you can actually switch order for um, for these tracks in KineMaster so at this point here we want this track on top so if we select here and go bring to front that's going to fix that and we come back over here and likewise at this point here I want this guy on the front and now what we have is we have that shot and then we have a, a sort of a picture-in-picture -picture effect well we're not going for that we're actually going to select the track now ideally I would have shot this in a higher resolution if you've ever wondered why you would buy a 4K camera, this is why. So there you go, that's full screen. Let's go just a little bit more, about there. Now, it doesn't really degrade the quality from that uh, camera too much. In fact, I think you'd be hard pressed to pick it. But what it lets us do is if we come back here, with this track selected, we can check here and add a little keyframe okay and now here's the thing because i've hidden the track behind the other track i should have waited to do that because i actually really want to see that now so let's send him to the back again so i can see the shot that i want to play with and i'll go along here and likewise we're just going to send that back so we're sort of going around in circles here um, but when I select this now, okay, and I put it over my keyframe, let's press that and use this to navigate to the keyframe. I can have this all the way to the, uh, to the edge of the frame on this side, come along here to the end of the clip. Okay. And I'm going to just push it across to the other side. Now we'll return this to the front. Go grab the other one and return this to the front. And watch what happens. We're going to get a nice little move on this shot here, which is going to hold our attention, even though Paddy did a terrible job of filming these fantastic performers. So let's just watch that through, see what we think. Yeah, that works really well because as this shot is sliding and this guy here is going off screen, we return to him with this shot here. Now, if only I'd done the white balance correctly and had somebody clap at the beginning of this piece and a whole bunch of other things I did wrong. Uh, but you know what? You're out there, you're filming, you're experimenting. Don't be afraid to get it wrong. I've been doing this since I was 15 was the first time I picked up a video camera and I'm still making mistakes and I'm 46 years old. I don't care if I make mistakes as long as I learn from them. And the more you're using your equipment, 
the more you'll remember that issue you had last time and you'll be able to avoid it. So that's a great little tip there. Shoot the locked off camera in 4K or at least in a higher resolution uh, than the other camera. This one can be in 1080p because obviously I'm framing those shots directly handheld but this is a locked off camera and then if that's got a little bit more resolution shoot it a little bit looser so you know not quite so tight on the um let me just cut this and show you the original that i had there so i'm probably pushing that out of sync so you know you can imagine if I just left a little bit more room on the left and the right and above, it would have given me some more options for panning this shot in post in the editing suite uh, of KineMaster and I will definitely do that next time. Well, I hope you found that super interesting. If you did, drop me a comment below, show me your videos, let me know what you're creating on your mobile phone. And if you are creating things on your mobile phone, irrespective of whether you're shooting with other cameras and editing it on the phone, or you're taking Instagram snaps, whatever it might be, this is the right channel for you. So make sure you hit subscribe, Drop a comment below, let me know what you'd like to see next and I'll see you in the next video very soon.